Hey guys, so this is what if Benton was in Young Justice Part 8, guys. Part 8. And last time I left off, I think I left off doing the Outsiders episode. And let's just continue after that. But before we get into it, guys, after this video, um, I am going to be uploading another Benton What If. I'm going to be, or another Omnitrix What If. I'm going to be uploading What If Airman Had the Omnitrix Part 3. And then I'm going to be uploading What If. Um, Spider-Man was in Young Justice part, I think, 6 or 7. And then after that, I'll just be uploading request videos, random videos, and just all around just videos I want to do because it's Christmas break and I don't really have a schedule for this week. So, I'm try I'm so like, those are, only, those are the only other what-ifs I'm going to be uploading. But if you guys have any request videos or any videos you specifically want me to do, just go down in the comments ask me you could ask me you can uh qu have a question like you know name which what if you want me to do or you could just give me a script not, not a script but give me a guideline on how you want the what if to be like but basically let's get into it guys now so let's continue with episode 18 well invasion i think it was called i don't remember the name but let's just get into it guys now, basically, after this, I'm going to be doing episode 18, 19, and 20, meaning that I'm going to be ending off season 2 of this What If. If you guys want me to continue this What If after, you know, this part, just go down in the comments, you know, say, can you continue it, blah, 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 and then I'll continue with season 3. Let's, let's get into it. Now, season 3, I might replace Ben with Kenny, and Ben might have a kid with um, a future, like, relationship in the future. Because if season two it takes a like a time gap in between um season three, but let's just get into it guys. Now we start our story off doing pretty much well Blue Beetle saving the day after the hive pretty much or the reach pretty much is able to take control of him since last episode. After that, we basically see that well on pretty much War World, everything's going similar the same, basically. When pretty much Beetle takes down Toy Man and pretty much, you know, defeats him and gives it to the police, he, you know, makes himself known. He says that he, you know, he is a candidate for the Reach. He's, you know, the world's hero. And basically, as that happens, we see from afar, pretty much, we see from afar, Ben, Ben being with, um, what was it, Impulse and Batgirl. As they slowly follow or track down or just stalk or spy Jaime's. Now, as we get switched off from there, the we get switched to pretty much what was it? After that, we get switched to pretty much Lagan. Now, Lagan's in Atlantis and he meets up with Megan. And pretty much as it happens, we get switched back to Blue Beetle. Blue Beetle is flying around the city when he when we see that basically, well, he comes across. Well, Batgirl. Batgirl grapples his foot to a, well, nearby building, and he flies off. But before he could fly off, Impulse runs on top of the, runs on top of the balancing line, or the, or the zip line, or the grappling hook, running on the back of Jaimez. As this happens, he tries to take down Jaimez, and he succeeds a little, somewhat, and then Jaimez and him fall down to the ground. He lands pretty quickly because of super speed, and Batgirl, Impulse, and Ben you know, do their plan. They try to, you know, take down Jaimez, but Jaimez easily takes down Batgirl with one sweep, you know, attack. And basically, Impulse tries to run in, trying to take him down, and, you know, well, Jaimez. As Impulse is running around in circles, you know, trying to disorientate Impulse, I mean, trying to disorientate Jaimez, Jaimez uses, well, his hook gun, the basically hook Impulse onto a wall, knocking him out. But he gets sidestepped, or I mean, like, straight up just gets sucker punched down into the literal esophagus. I mean, like, he gets punched in the throat by Ben, and Ben's in his human form. He gets punched back, and Jaimez muses his, or makes swords, and starts to slowly, you know, or not so slowly, he starts to cut towards Ben. Ben starts to dodge most of his attacks, him transforming into forearms. As he transforms into the forearms, he goes for punches after punches after punches on Jaimez, and Jaimez makes a shield, or Blue Beetle makes a shield, dodging or blocking most of the attacks. The shield over, the shield is being overran by strength, and it eventually cracks. 
Basically, Jaime's makes a sword, stabbing it into Forearms' leg, and Ben sucker punches Jaime's uppercut style with both of his fists, his lower fist, or his lower arm, punching into Jaime's stomach, and his upper arm punching into Jaime's face, basically pushing Jaime's back about six feet. Pretty much, Jaime gets back up, but he gets drop kicked into the ground, and pretty much, you know, pretty much Ben was able to, you know, brush out the pain from his leg bleeding out in forearms form. He started to punch down or pummel Jaime into the crown, in, into the ground in a crater, but out of you know rage and you know just technical thinking, pretty much the Blue Beetle Scarab sent a shockwave specific enough to hit the Omnitrix and disorientate for enough time for Ben to detransform and for Hymus to have enough time to grab Ben's throat or grab Ben from the collar and chuck him into a tree knocking him out. Basically as this happens you see that he looks towards you know everybody but he was told from the hive to take down Ben. As he makes swords or blades to try to kill Ben or to try to you know, you know take him out and then cut the Omnitrix off his wrist as he's coming towards Ben pretty much before that happens we see that well out of nowhere somebody else intervenes basically it being Santana and Rocket basically as this happens Jaime tries to get through the force field as much as possible or tries to bang through it but you see that has no progress as this happens we see that he's trapped and eventually he tries to break free but he can't, you know he can't and basically you know he goes along with them as Batgirl and Impulse are freed and Ben is woken up, pretty much we see that they flee off with Jaimez and basically try to do their plan. As we get so attracted to Megan and the Gon talking, we see that Megan is talking about or wants to break up with the Gon and confesses to the Gon that he's just a rebound, a rebound boy and you know he wasn't, well it wasn't real love or whatever. Basically hurting you know, Lagan and him just being, you know, just angrily, like, just peed off by this. As this happens, we pretty much, you know, see that McGann, Mag Lagan wants a relationship, but he's told that, you know, this, ain't, this isn't going to work. And pretty much, that's what happens. Now, as we get switched back to Blue Beetle, Centaya, Centara, Rocket, and pretty much the rest of them, you get switched that they go to a type of undercover, underground temple where we see a scarab underground temple that can be used to use a magic spell to take off the scarab. As we get switched back to pretty much soldiers guarding the temple, we see that Rocket steps in, taking them down or pushing them back as we see Impulse and Ben help us along. Impulse jumps in, basically taking down the guards with a super speed before Yusundaya can do it in this canon. And basically him taking down the guards. Basically, as he runs into one of the superhumans there, he's getting hold by the foot and pretty much getting dragged around. As we see Ben transform again, yet again, into forearms. Him going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the super strength girl. As this happens, he jump he sucker punches left and right and does a huge shockwave like she does a super clap on her face. Doesn't do a super clap shooting a shockwave, he claps his hands as her head is in the way of both of his hands and he knocks her out pretty much a huge ringing goes through her head and she's knocked out cold as this happens we see that blockbuster tries to go for zendaya but he goes but pretty much ben jumps in and does a huge sucker punch into or onto pretty much what was it uh or onto can't remember his name blockbuster pretty much pushing him back blockbuster is pushed back into the ground and he's dragged into a hole where pretty much the other villain was pushed into and they sealed him into the hole basically taking care of them as we get switched back to the rest of the team they try or they not try they pretty much well initiate the magic spell to take the scarab off of Hymas. as this happens Centara gets ready and chants her incantations as we get switched back to the hive the hive tries to or the hive tries to stop them by sending Green Beetle. Basically, as Green Beetle shows up, we see that Ben transforms into a different transformation. Accelerate, where we see Ben basically run against Green Beetle, making a circle or running alongside Impulse, making a fire circle or a fire ring around Green Beetle at a way faster speed, making the flames harder and more bigger. But Blue Beetle, Green Beetle just phases down 
through the ground and comes up and comes behind pretty much Batgirl and Impulse. As this happens, we see that Ben gets out the way, accelerates Storm, and he moves out the way because you know he acc accelerates speed. But after that, we see that well, Beast Boy jumps in alongside Wonder Girl, them double tagging pretty much Green Beetle. As you see, Robin also show up and them taking down Green Beetle or trying to. As this happens, as Green Beetle gains back consciousness, about to get through the wall, get through the ropes. We see that Accelerate jumps in, drop kicking Blue Be Green Beetle upside the head, super speed style. As this happens, he gains back consciousness or gets back up trying to, you know, ground himself. And he starts to shoot random blasts of energy everywhere. Basically, as Ben dodges most of the attacks and grabs, grabs Ben or Accelerate dodges most of the attacks and grabs pretty much Robin getting him out the way. We see that pretty much Antara try is continuing the spell and is succeeding now basically as this happened we see that Jaime starts to be blasted with this energy as the rest of the team tries to hold back green beetle as this happens they throw green beetle in the spell with Jaime, and the scarabs are purged or are well are purged of the hive's mind or not the hive but the reaches influence and basically them being in control of the scarabs now and the scarabs not having control over them basically them being saved pretty much green Mar green martian or the green beetle thanks everybody especially ben saying that that you're a very good fighter basically i'm saying just don't do that ever again because you know he actually still feels the kick that ben kicked him outside the head with but as we see jaimez and the rest of them you know make amends with what happened and they are all you know good with it and you know they're all back in control we get switched to pretty much a backstory of them talking about the original green beetle and Jaime is talking about how he got the green beetle the what was it the original blue beetle and him talking about how he got the blue beetle scarab as we get switched back to pretty much the headquarters we see you know Megan and pretty much the goon boys well relationship are, is is over Basically, Lugan just walks off, him just being literally peed off, just completely just angry, but he just walks off. After that, we get switched back to pretty much Queen Bee talking about the situation, but after that, we get, we get ended off there, and we continue our episode, or our story with episode 19, Submit. As we get switched to episode 19, we see ourselves in some sort of cave area where we see Rachel Ghoul, the Hive, the Rachel Ghoul, the Reach, um, Slade, um, Black Manta, just the whole, you know, white itself, all the light members. Basically, them arriving there. As we see, look, as we see Aqualad and, you know, Tigris, basically, we see that, well, the episode goes from the same. The first half of the episode goes, well, exactly the same as in canon. Basically, eventually, um, the Hive finding out about how Artemis is Tigris and how she's been tricking everybody and everything that's going down so far and how Black Manta or how Aqualad is a traitor and whatnot and pretty much everything that gone everything that went on. As this happens, we see the rest of the team jumps in, pretty much backing up the rest of the team. Pretty much Ben is in accelerate form again, him fighting alongside Impulse. As this is happening, we see that the fight goes on more and more, and as he's fighting, he comes across well, Black Beetle. As this happens, he transforms into a new alien transformation, he, him confused. As he looks at his body, he pretty much get, transforms into a new alien transformation. This alien transformation being named Energy. I mean, not being named. Being named Electro. Basically, this Energy transformation is similar to Feedback, but not as strong as his. He's basically just a living being of electricity, kind of like the energy beans are kind of like shock pulse i guess that's what his name is or basically his powers are that he can con that he can literally absorb electricity kind of like feedback but he can only absorb it and he can only dish it out when he's at full power meaning that he can't absorb a little, a little bit of he can absorb energy and he can dish it out in small ways but mainly his power is just absorbing energy and just stockpiling energy 
and his energy doesn't come out as electricity like feedback it comes out in raw strength meaning that if he absorbs like a cell tower or anything like that every volt of electricity equals to a newton of force basically him having a little bit of power if he was constantly you know hooked up to a power box or hooked up to the world's energy supply basically every voltage or every you know shock equals to about um, 1 million newtons basically giving him a limited super strength so all he had to do was like tr all he has to do is like absorb electricity or any type of energy source and basically well in any like if that energy source has a form of volts it can be transformed into n amount of newtons in pretty much elect electro's body basically giving him superhuman strength as long as he's you know he absorbs enough energy if he is if he's out of juice he's just another like upgrade type of being like you know biogenetic bio organic so he's kind of like if he doesn't have his energy on him or he's out of energy he's literally just you know a flexible type of being on his arms and on his arms or his limbs his torso is still hard like you know a human body so you could still you know hurt him but yeah so as energy he's wore some electricity or energy off of black beetle's scare up he fights back against black beetle punching him back and back and forth basically going up against him over time his energy starts to be over wasted because he's using his strength in weird ways but as this happens we get switched to pretty much began and pretty much what was it uh, pretty much began and what was it uh i think it's um lagoon boy kind of sharing a moment in their relationship becoming a little bit for them trying to get back together as we get switched back to pretty much wally and impulse you know laying around and fighting we pretty much see pretty much well banking chugged around like a rag doll into multiple different pillars and rocks into the cave as he gets up he transforms into another transformations and transforms into gamma gamma's transformation is kind of similar to some other transformations but basically is gamma's transformation it's just that his body is may have a acid like hardened like flesh type of substance basically he emits gamma radiation from his body that can cancer people give cancer people give people cancer diseases and may just disintegrate people all together meaning that he can control gamma radiation dish it out and also absorb it basically him being similar to well, him being similar to, uh, I don't remember his name, Energy, or being similar to Gamma, or I don't know, I don't remember his name, but basically his powers are similar to that, but he doesn't have any type of superhuman strength or anything like that. He just has Gamma radiation. So he's very harmful to other people if he's working in a team with this transformation, because he can burn through rocks, stuff like that. Basically, he can use Gamma radiation and also you know, secrete a type of acid-like, you know, texture on his skin of this transformation. And this transformation has the texture or the brittleness of human bones, so it's as durable as a normal human being. Meaning that this human trans that this transformation is is you know not bulletproof. It could still be shot down, stabbed, cut, or even just you know burned alive. Well, not burned alive. It can still absorb heat and extreme levels of pretty much what was it uh temperature but other than that it's basically normal to another human being in terms of you know anatomy or in terms of durability now basically this transformation pretty much starts to shoot gamma radiation or concentrated gamma blast towards pretty much well black beetle black beetle uses his you know, getting his powers to dodge or block most of the attacks, but he gets pushed back more and more. As he's getting pushed back into the ground, he uses a power or a power source to basically make a type of tube, redirecting the power towards a teammate. As it's about to hit impulse and give him a type of cancer or just straight up kill him, we see that pretty much Ben jumps in the way, absorbing the radiation and pushing it back towards Black Beetle. Black Beetle dodges it and basically starts to hit been with all sorts of attacks as he starts to dodge we get switched back to we get switched back to the rest of the fight where we see black manta or lagan pretty much fighting his father basically as we get switched to the rest of the fight alongside we see that black scarab is able to lose ben after ben 
is pushed back in the sortain as he tells the hive where he pretty much well leaves the hive leader behind or the reach leader behind and pretty much you know captures the hives i guess right hand woman or whatever as we get towards the bumblebee guardian and the rest of the team afterwards after they fought and taken down everybody we see that beast boy you know gives gives ben a high five but ben tells him you know don't high five me and pretty much he detransforms as ben detransforms after they celebrate about how they took down the took down the light and how the hive is you know gone now or maybe gone and that you know now artemis is reunited with her boy or her you know wally and basically well beast beast boy you know talks to uh was it you know what was it um nightwing but basically well all nonetheless pretty much they kind of sort of win as that happens we get switched back to the world the war world as we see pretty much the reach guards are you know guarding it as we see vandal savage jump in with his crew basically him taking on the people there that are guarding world war world trying to you know overrun it as we get switched back to nightwing and aqualad nightwing aqua's aqualad back into the young justice or back into the team as we see aqualad there as well him you know prepared to let um black man let aqualad back in there as we see a boom tube open up we see that pretty much the people that were guarding like, like captain marvel black and that were guarding real world were taken out and teleported right back into the watchtower as we see world world war world gets teleported or gets blasted off and just leaves the planet's atmosphere as we get switched back as we get switched to the earth we see that pretty much well captain adam i guess his name is you know talks about this with the president and everything goes similar the same as we get switched back to black beetle she well says something about how he has a plan but as you know captain matt captain adam is there for the you know, was the secretive he pretty much says that we're declining the offer or declining the whole entire thing about how the hive or the reach wanted to stay on earth so now the reach has to leave and pretty much well they're being told to leave earth now as we get switched back to black beetle watching this on the news as we see black you know beetle saying the green Lantern Corps will soon be on their way because you know they're not supposed to be here anymore but basically they talk about how the world war was t was you know left and probably taken away by the command of savage basically pretty much black beetle says the entire some the entire thing is out, is out of our reach but the meat but we have to take care we have to take or was it matters into our own hands and basically well he wants to well take down earth or just destroy earth now basically after that we get switched to the end of the episode and we get switched to the last episode of season two episode 20 in game let's get into it guys this is the finale man as we get switched to the planet where we see um pretty much as we get switched to the planet where we saw the you know justice league pretty much being talked and pretty much the justice league being you know pit a hit on top of a court basically about how they're crimes on this planet after the under the influence of Vandal Savage they get switched to Black Beetle basically trying to you know do his plan as he does his plan we see that he gets interrupted by Green Beetle the Green Beetle um blue, Green Beetle Blue Beetle Ben and Aqualad as Ben you know transforms into forearms basically was taking down the other people that are in the ship as he jumps in behind aqualad helping him against the fight with pretty much well oh was it oh, was it black beetle as he fights against black beetle he dodges most of his attacks and grabs one of his blades breaking them or snapping them and then punching black beetle outside the face black beetle looks at him saying funny and he stabs ben into the chest or into the stomach as forearms Forearms falls to the ground and starts to bleed as Black Beetle kicks him off the bridge area that he was at and kicks him off. As we see that he goes up against 
Green Beetle, we see that Green Beetle uses his powers to pretty much try to purify, pretty much, what was it, purify Black Beetle, Black Beetle, or try to take down the Scarab or kill it. As we see, pretty much, Blue, Black Beetle reuses his ability against pretty much Martian, or the Green Martian, as we see that he corrupts the Scarab on his back and kills it. As he, you know, well, takes it down, we get switched back to pretty much, well, the Hive, and they're, you know, thinking the Reach, or pretty much the Lights, you know, thing, Battle Savage, everything being gone into proof, and pretty much they have proof to let the Jets League go. As we switch to Megan and Superboy trying to, you know, well, what was it, what was it? Megan and Superboy trying to stand up for humanity, and gives them, you know, well, good, you know, talkman, and actually really good proof. And I'm going to skip out from here because it doesn't really change that much since Ben isn't in this part. So I'm going to just skip through this whole entire thing. As we get switched to pretty much Black Beetle, I'm trying to corrupt the Scarab on, on Hymus's back. We see that Ben intervenes, pulling the Scarab, pulling the pretty much wires out of Hymus's back. And as this happens, we see that Hymus pretty much, well... I got my phone, my phone died, my phone blacked out. I do not know how long I recorded without, I think, a couple minutes. But basically, pretty much as they fight on top of the building, because, like, for the whole entire legal issue on pretty much the different planet with the Justice League and all that other stuff, I'm going to be skipping that because it doesn't really change because Ben isn't in that situation. As we get switched to pretty much high mess, Hymas is fighting against Black Beetle as Black Beetle is trying to kill his Scarab as he's doing this or he's trying to do this. We see that Hymas overpowers him, basically trying to destroy his Scarab. As he tries to fight back, we see that Hymas uses both of his you know, tentacles or his Scarab, his Scarab spikes to pretty much double power or overpower Black Beetle, killing his Scarab and, well, rendering him vulnerable after he's destroyed and after he you know pretty much the scarab is killed pretty much pretty much what was it um oh was it? Uh, pretty much Hyman says you know what have i done pretty much him saying that we learned from the scarab that he's already had a plan in motion basically about how to destroy the world basically after that we get switched back to ben getting back up and has he de-transformed de de he has some internal bleeding, as Aqualad tells him to stay back and to keep himself safe, and to you know, you know, just you know, try to just you know, stay back. We get switched back to pretty much the plan in motion, a scene that Black Beetle was setting a plan in motion to use a weather machine of some sorts to pretty much cause natural disasters all over the world, basically making sure that everything would go downhill. Basically, as it's happened. We get switched to pretty much the watchtower and them seeing all that. Seeing natural disasters that shouldn't even be happening, happening all over the world at hor horrible rates. As we see the rest of the Justice League trying to take care of this, we see that Hymus tells him his plan as we see Ben in the medical area on the pretty much what was it? On the medical area on the pretty much what was it? On the um, watchtower as he's getting, you know, medically, you know, sur surgery on and, you know, well, getting medical attention. So he does, he did get stabbed in the stomach, but it was in a different transformation. But yet again, he still got some internal bleeding. He didn't get a spear or like a cut in his stomach. He just had some internal bleeding from how he was bleeding in forearms his form. As we get switched to pretty much Hymas talking about the plan that Black Beetle set in motion, I'm going to be skipping up to that because since all that happened, Ben will be bedridden, meaning that the rest of the episode would go similar to the same. Megan would have tried to repatch things with Connor, and basically, they would have succeeded into, well, releasing the Justice League. As we get switched back to the Runaways, or the other metahumans, along with the rest of the team, them getting ready for the fight against pretty much, well, everything, the finale, the end game, everything, every person that was ever on the, on the Young Justice, we get switched to pretty much Lex Luthor helping them with their plan on taking down and saving the planet. As this happens, we get switched back to Ben waking up, him trying to get out of his medical bed, 
but he gets stopped by a nurse or gets stopped by a resident person there. But he says, you know, you can't just stop. You can't just leave. You're in bad shape. Basically, he says, I'm good. And he transforms into his Kryptonian form. He flies down to Earth and basically lands right there next to the rest of his teammates. Impulse says, you were stabbed in the chest. They say you, guess you were stabbed in the stomach. Why are you here? He says, I'm good. Basically, him, you know, being in good shape since he is in his Kryptonian form. As we get switched back to the rest of the team, we see that pretty much Superbo Superman, Batman, and the rest of the Justice League are let off. Basically, you know, a scene shown that Vero Savage will come back to this world and basically start to destroy it. As we get switched back to pretty much Earth or Atlantis, as you see Aqualad and Lagoon Boy pretty much go up against these ships or the things that are destroying Atlantis there. They get switched back to them fighting against them. As we get switched to Paris, we see pretty much Speedy and what was it? As we get switched back to Paris, we see Speedy and Artemis fighting against all these aliens. Basically, them showing you know a little bit of moments. I I, I just honestly love this moment. But basically, as we get switched to them, you know, <laughs> fighting, we see that Artemis and Wally you know share moments because you know they've been they've been apart for a long time. But as this happens. We pretty much get switched back to what was it, uh, the future, you know, Static Shock and Black Lightning fighting against the, you know, machines in the sewers as well that are doing all this. And as this happens, we see that pretty much in Antarctica, we see that Flash and Impulse go there alongside Ben using his Kryptonian form to fly right past them or fly alongside them, basically flying right, right, right next to them. As they get to an ice capsule or ice area where they see a type of, well, the machine, but it's causing a huge amount of energy. As it falls off to the ground, we see that, you know, we haven't even used it yet, but we see that it's caused up way too much energy or built up way too much energy, meaning that now there's no way to stop it at this point. Ben is looking around and he says, I might have something to stop it. As Impulse says, what do you mean? You know, you, you mean... Basically, he says, yeah. Now, yeah, he transforms into none other than the most powerful alien Ben has in his arsenal. One of his most powerful. Alien X is transformed. Ben transforms into Alien X. And meaning that he would have, you know, he would be in mind, mindset still. But he would have that deal with the other, you know, pretty much the other Celestials. And they would, you know, well, do the deal again. And basically... Pretty much, well, Ben would have used his, his reality warping and basically would have stopped it right then and there with just a snap of a finger. A simple snap in Alien X form. Saving the planet, meaning in this scenario, Wally wouldn't die. Meaning that Wally, Kid Flash, wouldn't sacrifice himself to save or do the cause to save the world. And, you know, he didn't die. Meaning that in this canon... You know, Artemis wouldn't feel that guilt, and Ben would be a Ben would be a hero. Basically, Ben would have seen the future as well since he's a siesta. He would have seen that he didn't intervene. Why would have died, and he would tell the rest of the team, giving them a little bit of a mental image of what would originally happen if Ben wasn't here. They would have called Ben a hero, and they wouldn't been and pretty much season two would have not leaved off with a death, meaning that Ben would have saved the day. And Ben would have BT transformed and he would have started to bleed out because he was, you know, overusing his body because like he did he didn't you know his internal bleeding wasn't going down. He started to fall down and collapse on the ground. And Pulse grabbed him and started to run into a hospital as we get so to the rest of the team as we see the Just League is welcome back home. And basically as this happens, since this whole entire thing happens, Iron Man doesn't come with crying tears to Wally's family about how he died. And Wally and Artemis come to his house together and basically, you know, talk and all that other stuff. And as it happens, pretty much that's where we're going to leave it off here. The rest of the episode goes somewhere the same. And pretty much after that, we see that the team doesn't pit, you know, a statue up for Wally. And basically, Impulse doesn't take over the, doesn't take the mantle of Wally or Kid Flash. Basically pretty much Wally rejoining the Young Justice alongside Artemis. And basically us getting switched to the rest of the 
other, you know, more morals for the rest of the niggers, like, you know, um, like the rest of the team, like, you know, um, Jason Todd and the other Robin, basically, pretty much the episode leaving off there, and season one, season two, leaving off there at a big kind of type of cliffhanger, and that's where I'm going to leave it off here, guys. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Hope you guys like it. Subscribe, guys. And I hope, guys, I hope you guys like how I did change a lot about it. Because now, while he's alive, and he rejoined the team as a senior member, basically him becoming, him still, you know, having the title of Wally West. And basically, as this happens, we get switched to another end credit on episode um, 20 of the Injustice. As we see Ben arrive, still an alien is we see Ben wake up in the hospital as we see him look at the Omnitrix and the Omnitrix has a message from Asmus tell, Asmus telling him that he was in grave danger and that you need to end the video according skips off there and Ben is left there shocked on what ha what's happening and I'm gonna leave it off here guys I hope you guys enjoyed the video, hope you guys like to subscribe and pretty much season 2 of this season 3 of Young Justice with Ben in it will be a total banger and it will be amazing i'm telling you guys it will be amazing it will be the best i can do it as now let's get into it guys and let's i'll do the outro real quick so i hope you guys enjoyed the video hope you guys like and subscribe as always guys have a blessed day see you guys later deuces